Saturday, August 31st, and I'm just sitting here waiting for Joe Handling to come uh, pick me up. We're gonna pack all my stuff into his truck and then head out to uh, Rock Road Outfitters where they got some massive bucks. So he should be here any minute. We're gonna get everything packed up, get out of here, and get out there. So What's up, Joe? What's going on? Ready? I'm out there. <laughs> Let's do this. It's beautiful, beautiful country right here. Across the river. Joe and I just got over the Missouri River here and on some of this hilly country out here. Totally gorgeous. Huge rolling hills. Um, we're probably what, about 20 minutes from Rock Road Outfitters. Super excited this evening. The kind of the plan is is that we're going to go out with Neil and uh, a couple of his other guys and do some scouting, looking after, uh, or trying to see if we can't scout any uh, big bucks out to uh, get out at him tomorrow and try to stick an arrow in one of them. Just driving through the ranch here where they uh, have all the land. And we're gonna get out here and uh, find out where these things are so we can uh, try to pop something. But they've got like, what, three, four inches of rain? Yeah, last night it downpoured for a while, so it's pretty tacky in here. Yeah, I mean, it's we're slipping sideways right now trying to drive. We're gonna set up for the night and just kind of set up spying scope and uh, glass some of this ground um, and one of the reasons why we picked a spot like this is uh, obviously you know we're up high we can see a lot of different different terrain different country here um, uh, just to kind of get an idea uh, what the deer are doing we're far enough away from everything where we're not going to disturb anything but we want to get a pretty good idea uh, before we move in um, make sure I'm not going to bump anything or move anything out of the area before we get a chance to hunt them. So it's the morning of Joe and I just getting out here, getting all ready. And right now we've got Neil behind us right there. And he's uh got this body scope. Looking at some white tails that came up along this field edge over here. Yeah, so they're uh, actually going right by his camera. So we'll right be able to see what got. Right in there. They're headed to the water hole. So the idea this morning is to, we're gonna get out here and find out where these deer are going, find a big buck where it's bedded. And then Joe and Neil are gonna go down and they're gonna walk and stock up to it, try to pop it. I'm gonna actually go to where that deer may run. And that way, Keeps when Joe misses, deer. I'll shoot it. So the idea is that he's gonna scare it to me the whole plan that's the plan anyways so we're gonna see how it goes but stick with us guys and we're gonna have some action for you here hopefully soon Oh, 
told you before. Those, it's kind of a toss up deal. I mean, it's the first morning. You know. <sighs> it looks pretty nice right now. Um, yeah, I like it. If I could walk and stock that thing and shoot it, I'd, I'd say I'd be pretty happy. I'd say he's mid 140s and full out. Yeah, I'd be okay with the 140 and all that. We're all okay. You want to make sure he's in a position you can get to without bumping everything else. That's the problem with all the deer we have here. I mean, we could bump some of these does and your hunts over. Right. More than likely when you bump these, though, they're going to go back up over across the field and over into the draws on the other side. So, usually you are going to be alright, but, you know, just to try to get down and we got plenty of cover. It's just a matter of time. We yeah. to let them get comfortable. Okay. You know, most people, when they see them and they try to go to stock on them, they go too quick or they go too early. You want to let the deer kind of settle down and that can backfire if they decide to get up and do some moving around. But, yeah. um, usually when they start doing that, it's because the sun's hitting them. So that's my other concern with this situation is once that sun hits them, are they going to stay there? Um, we're, it's too late now to make a move real quick here. So we just wait till the sun hits them, see what's going to happen with them. And as long as they stay there, uh, they're in a really good spot. This morning, uh, what we did was we snuck up in on this uh, really nice 145, 150 inch deer. Uh, it was an awesome experience. We got down right on it and uh, we we're about 30, 35 yards from it. They stood up before we got there. Um, so it was kind of unfortunate that we had some cows uh, that saw us coming. So what we had to do is kind of get down and those deer got up and they started headed right our way. Uh, by the time we were ready, I drew up and he was already behind this big bush at about 35 yards. So all I had was a shot in the rear and obviously you don't take that shot. So uh, it was a great experience. It was super, super awesome. 
um, really got me going. My adrenaline was pumping. Um, so hopefully tonight we can put something down.